What for? Friends, maybe? I can feel she's angry. <laughs> why, why is Germany last? Explain. What? <laughs> Hello. Um, so everything I know about Europe basically goes back to like movies and TV as well as just uh, all of the friends I've made from Europe in my life. So I don't know super well how to compare these things, especially since I've never been to any of these countries. So I'm so sorry. <laughs> What put football? me last. Okay, so in honor of my German teacher, this is all I know about football. <laughs> it'll be. Thanks. No, no, no. <laughs> I can tell you it's not. Thanks. Friends, maybe? <laughs> I can feel she's angry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel that. I'm guessing, I'm guessing. Belgium, I'm gonna go Belgium. <laughs> Honestly, I would. I, I don't. I don't Let's deserve see. this place. We don't even qualify for the World Cup. I would say first is Germany, just because it's really the only thing I ever heard about football was my German teacher talking about German Fußball. So did I say that right? <laughs> Fußball, yeah. yeah so yes. other than that, I just guessed stuff of like the names of soccer players I've heard of. <laughs> How they sounded. Yeah, that's that's it. Germans <laughs> love their football. That's so true. Yeah. I would say that Germany is first. I really don't know anything about football, but Germany I said first because my German teacher used to always be like, yeah, go football. <laughs> and I also like why I did Italy second is because all of the names I always hear that our football players oh, sound like the they're Italian. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> okay. I mean, okay, I totally expected to be wrong. I had no idea. <laughs> but I think it's normal. Between all these countries, really depends on the season. Yeah, right now I agreed for Germany because like, I think 10 years ago was a whole different story. Yeah. Yeah. But now, yeah. yeah true. What is going on with our countries? <laughs> They're resting. <laughs> if it makes you feel better, I would be like over there. <laughs> I disagree because we have one of the best team like Paris Saint-Germain with Mbappé, Ikangin and Giroud, Griezmann that are great players in the world. I'm agree because I'm in the middle, so it depends. <laughs> <laughs> it's like sometimes well, sometimes bad. And I of course disagree because I feel like Italy has this image that we are very strong soccer, but these days I don't really think we have like super good players. That's why we don't even go to the World Cup. Come on, it's just a period. I also feel like Germans are gonna be so sad about this because Germans are so proud of their football teams. They love it. So this is this is tough news. <laughs> I'm not judging everybody's outfits today. Please keep that in mind. Let's go Italy. Thank you. Agreed. <laughs> okay, now I go with friends. <laughs> And, oh my god, now I'm lost again. Uh, 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 Germany. Oh, really? <laughs> Belgium. <laughs> but you know, they have Zara, so maybe in the official ranking you're gonna be higher than that. I don't know, just oh, yeah. guessing. Okay, I'm stressed. <laughs> I think I'm agree for Italy and for France because yeah. they are all the luxury brand and everything, mm -hmm. so this I could totally agree. First is Italy because I think that Italy is like quite known, at least in uh, America, like very basically for being very fashionable. But I don't know anything about Spain. I'm not saying Spain's unfashionable, I just don't know as much about it. So that's where my reasoning comes from. Yes, yeah, I, I knew it. I feel like I did better, <laughs> but I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's um, Germans love their hiking outfits. Aww. Like a lot of Germans just wear like functional clothing all the time. So I'm actually a little, a little surprised because I thought I would be more down. Yeah. For tell the truth, um. I feel like it'll be like <laughs> this. It's more like this. I was like in my head, I had like that like German like I don't know like clubbing outfit. Like I feel like it would look like the guy from the Matrix. <laughs> That's like five percent of Germans, I would say. So you know, like in in the big cities, yes. But and I I feel in Spain we have like many well-known brands, at least in Europe. But I think in the streets many people don't take so much care about their outfits. So that's why I think it's fair to be in the third position. 
uh, of course, with Italian friends. I mean, there's nothing to do. <laughs> okay, great food. We have to go with Italy <laughs> for number Thank one. Thank you. Agreed. <laughs> After that, actually, personally, I will go with Spain. Uh, paella is good. You know I see French hot. staring me down like, yeah. when are you going to give it to me, girl? And then also I will go with Belgium because Belgian waffles. <laughs> German because Kartoffeln. I'm sorry, I don't know any food from the Netherlands. No, I, that's what I expected. <laughs> I am disagree. I agree. <laughs> because I don't know, but maybe the cliche say French food is the best gastronomy in the world, so... I feel yeah. comfortable in the middle <laughs> because I, I don't have the hate of this too. <laughs> Do you think that French food should be higher or lower? Higher. Higher, okay. But I saw like recently on Instagram some rankings and I saw that Italy was first. I disagree because German food is awesome. <laughs> I don't think it's that awesome. <laughs> this was so hard for me. Oh, nice! Yeah. Oh! Oh! oh. What? <laughs> wow! It's... Ah. It's... Oh! Ah. oh. 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 Yeah. Good job! I'm sorry! I do think for Germany, it's really good, but it's not that famous. Like, yeah. the, if we just don't... We only know, have, like, a um, sausage that is really known. So Schnitzel is, is not even German, actually. It's so Austrian. Maybe. Every country has, like, a very good, good point. Yeah, yeah Like, yeah. I think French is very sophisticated, and Italy yeah, is very more... famous because of the past. Yeah, as I said, France is famous for gastronomy, like, rich people stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's what I saw, too. I'm agree because it's famous for like gastronomy and everything and Italian we know them they like cooking a lot and Pasta they gelatos. all this kind of thing and I really feel Spain is but in the Belgium middle. I thought more in the like casual style because they are chocolate waffle oh, yeah, chocolate. yeah french fries beer so a lot of things and we like it beer. in general but just saying beer <laughs> But <laughs> this kind of thing, but for like gastronomy, then I understand they are there. Um, for tourism, that's hard. I want to go everywhere. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm trying to think stereotypically. So there's the Lizzie McGuire movie where she goes to Spain. So let's go <laughs> Ratatouille, there's the Eiffel Tower. So <laughs> Italy sounds like it's really wonderful. So um, I'm going to stay here. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I think that maybe the Netherlands would be next and Belgium. Oh no. And I'm so sorry. I, <laughs> it's okay. I'm really guessing. <laughs> so actually now I'm thinking about it again and maybe France shouldn't be second just because I think if American tourists want to go there, they're not going to know how to speak French. <laughs> but in terms of actual tourism, not regarding the person that's doing it. So for Spain, as I know, there's like a lot of really uh, classic architecture, right? Or yeah. some statues? With exactly. Italy. In that case, yeah. we Mama have Sa, more. I feel surprised. But I don't know, I don't understand. Like, good for tourism means that services are good yeah, or the, the place is oh. actually good overall? Oh. Overall? Um, actually, I think in France we are first for the places to see, That's but <laughs> the, the service is really bad in France. So, if we are not first, it's <laughs> Worse. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of things that go into tourism. And I, I feel that us, we're very proud of our country. <laughs> why, so why is Germany last? <laughs> Explain. I was, okay, so when I was thinking about this, I was thinking about literally like touring and going some to some like well-known like tourist attraction. That's what I was basing it off of. So that's why I ended up with Germany at last, just because I was like, wait, what do you see in Germany? Berlin, I think that's <laughs> Berlin, well, yeah. Berlin, yeah. <laughs> oh, yay! Yay! Well. Yeah, I think because Italy, of course, it's beautiful and it's famous, but also because maybe compared to, I don't know about Spain, but maybe to France. I don't know, when I was going back to, to Italy, I had to transfer in France and people there, even though it was an airport, they were not speaking English to me. They were like speaking only French. So I think that's affecting the, the ranking somehow. So maybe it's due to, let's say, for service. Because I think, I think so. actually yeah. Spain think... is taking your position in this ranking, mm -hmm. maybe because of the service. Yeah, I know it's not every French people, but I know French people are not all kind and we are kind and friendly, sorry to offense, but 
Yeah, I can say it because I'm French. Yeah, I so think whatever. it's not because of like the the actual the quality of the things you see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and actually, French people are really proud of um, the culture and the language, so they don't want to really change and talk in English. And if you try to speak French, but it's not perfect, they will say, "Don't try." Yeah, in yeah. Spain, for example, if you even say it so badly, people is going to try to understand yeah, you. Yeah, so. but not in France. Okay. Uh, I need to ask. <laughs> Actually, that was my plan. <laughs> Thanks for the frost. I would Let's be go. really surprised if we are in the first. Um, no, I think we are. We are yeah, here. Right. <laughs> I wasn't really sure about Spain, to be honest. Yeah. But um, at least for France, one of my music video directors told me somebody just stole all of his equipment while he was taking a picture in France once. So I think it's common in all. That, that's three worse. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That would have happened in Italy as well. That's true. probably. Um, I do think Germany is on the safer side. Agreed. But if you're in Berlin, for example. Berlin is not safe at all. I'm interested to see how much like Berlin and the rest of Germany balances out the safety. But I felt really safe growing up. Oh yeah. Oh, oh okay. Oh. Okay. okay. I'm in the right place. <laughs> how come Germany is third? I would have said Berlin. <laughs> and like the big cities, I think. I know that our country is really safe, although personally I did feel safer traveling in Southern Europe. Like I felt really safe in Barcelona, which is maybe not a popular opinion, but I was really happy there. I guess also just depends on the area. I feel it's not a casual thing that we are in this position and also at the same time we are one of the most visited countries. Mm. So the amount of people, that craziness, I think it's the perfect opportunity to these kind of pickpockets, especially yeah. mm -hmm. I think in Spain it's not unsafe because we have, sorry, like guns and this stuff. It's especially for, uh, you have many opportunities of the pickpockets. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the confusion. Yeah, and like in France we have pickpockets, but we have a lot worse. Like some guys can touch you in the street. I had the experience like someone follow me in the street with a car. I got used to it because I'm French. Netherlands case, they also have a lot of clubs and they also, you know, yeah, but smoke a lot of, but that is we cannot me. say this word, but uh huh. Uh, still, so I, but still, like it's the first in the ranking. I was bothered a lot when I went to Brussels though, so mm -hmm. I'm really <laughs> surprised that Belgium is second. Honestly, I'm surprised too because <laughs> <laughs> I think I will be a little bit more down because uh, it's pretty safe, but but in the same time I will not go out at night alone or this kind of thing because even for men, but I think for women we are a lot of men we will follow you, will attack you or for rape or for stool stuff. So I think it's not really safe <laughs> by living by being Belgian. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. And attractions like what you can see, right? Yeah, like okay, yeah. I stress gave it to Spain, I'm sorry, but I hope it still it still goes well. For for kicks and giggles. There's the big fountain there, right? So I, I always hear people talking a lot about traveling to Spain because they want to see like how beautiful it is and all of like the cultural aspects to it. So that's why I chose Spain for number one. For number two. France is, of course, like beautiful and has lots of old buildings, but of course the Eiffel Tower. And uh, Italy because the Leaning Tower of Pisa, right? Is there? Yeah. yeah? Okay. <laughs> and lots of other amazing, beautiful things. And then uh, those were like the big things I could think of. So this is what they teach you in American school. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, as for this side, like I feel like the Netherlands are known as being very beautiful for Belgium. It seems like somewhere that would be also beautiful. A small country, don't worry if you don't know. And Germany, as we already said before, uh, Berlin. Yeah. <laughs> oh what is going on? Yeah, space? this is fake. I knew it, that we had many things. Actually, I was 
I was confident with friends. Yeah, but so I don't know third, why. Third, third? no, I would have said first, second or first, second, and yeah, Spain right? third. But confronting Italy, Italy, I am surprised. Like, no, but I mean, they have Rome, they have Venice, they have Firenze, they have. I mean, Italy is completely full of things. So I'm very surprised. Or like, no, no, I'm not fighting. We're like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Belgium is small country, so they are for sure less things to see. And I saw Italy. I will maybe first because all building and oh, like so it's pretty building and everything but I go Spain a lot and I love Spain and mm, it's yeah. good too. Yeah. Italians you know what to do in the comments please. <laughs> For Germany I think we have like the Berlin Wall which mm, is a cool thing right. to see and the Brandenburg Tor in Berlin. Mm -hmm. The big gate. I don't know how you call it in English. Berlin gates. <laughs> Probably. Uh, it was really interesting. I knew I was gonna be wrong for all of it. What, what did I get right? Like food? Yeah, I wasn't expecting to get that right, but I'm happy I did. Sorry for anybody I insulted. I had my sweet ending. So. <laughs> yeah, she had her sweet ending. I think so like fresh. most most of what she said was based on stereotypes, especially about soccer. Like she thought that Italy was one of the first countries, but actually it's not. I think I was the most surprised about the official ranking of football. Because Germans love football. And um, for a few people, it's their whole personality is just football. No, I know. <laughs> but yeah, a little sad. So today we ranked European countries from worst to best. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. We will see you soon. Bye! Bye.